Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here for another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to recover your forgotten password in Windows 11 or Windows 10. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing, guys, would be to go ahead and locate a Windows 11 ISO file. So if you need to go ahead and download that from the Microsoft website, I'll have a link in the description of the video. So if you guys need to go ahead and actually download the ISO file and burn it to a DVD or USB flash drive, and then you're going to go ahead and boot your computer off of it. So at this point, we're going to assume that you're already at that part of the video, and I'm just going to have, like again, probably a video card up in the video itself, as well as a link in the description here. And then you want to restart your computer and go to the boot menu. So depending on your computer manufacturer, it may be slightly different. But we're just going to go ahead and select the reset option. And then I'm going to tap the escape key in my case. But in your case, it may be a slightly different function key. And then in the boot menu, I'm going to use my arrow keys to go down to the CD-ROM drive. If you use the USB flash drive, you'll select that option. And you're going to go ahead and hit enter. And then you're going to press any key to boot from the DVD. And now you're going to hold down the Shift and the F10 key on your keyboard at the same time. So again, hold down the Shift and the F10. I'll have it up on the screen as well. So again, tap those two keys at the same time. And at this point, you want to go type in disk part, all one word, D-I-S-K-P-A-R-T. Go ahead and hit Enter on your keyboard. Once you're done that, just give it a second here. It will have a little blinking cursor for a moment. And then you want to type in list volume. Two words here, list, volume. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard once you have it. And now you're going to go ahead and select the one Windows is installed on. Usually, if you don't know, it'll probably be the largest one. And this is in megabytes and gigabytes, by the way. So you see 69 gigabytes. Probably going to be our hard drive here compared to the other ones that are just in megabytes. So I'm going to select volume D in my case. So type in CD, space, and then whatever drive letter we're going to be going under. So in our case, it's a D drive. It might be different in your case again, so that will be variable. Then you're going to type a colon, so D colon. Now you want to hit enter. And now type exit, E-I-E-X-I-T. Go ahead and hit enter. And now we're going to go back and select our same drive letter we were working on before, which in my case, again, was a D drive. And then a colon. Go ahead and hit enter. Now we're going to type in CD space Windows. Two words here, CD, and then a space, Windows. Go ahead and hit Enter. Now you want to type in CD space System32, like you see it on my screen. Go ahead and hit Enter. Now you want to go ahead and type in copy space U-T-I-L-M-A-N dot E-X-E space U-T-I-L-M-A-N-1 dot E-X-E. Exactly as you see it on my screen here again, guys. If you need to pause the video or rewatch part of it, that's fine. And then once you have it, as you see it on my screen, go ahead and hit Enter. Should say one file copied if you did it correctly. Next thing we're going to do is type in copy space cmd.exe space cmd1.exe. Go ahead and hit Enter. Should also come back of one file copied. Now you want to go type in del space utilman dot exe. Again, exactly how you see on my screen here. So del space utilman dot exe. Go ahead and hit enter on your keyboard. And now we're going to go ahead and type in rename space cmd dot exe space U-T-I-L-M-A-N dot E-X-E. Go ahead and hit enter. And then you want to just go ahead and type in exit. Go ahead and hit enter. And now at this point, close out of the Windows Setup Wizard here. Select yes to cancel the installation, and it should boot us back into Windows here. And now you want to scroll up on the lock screen here. 
There should be a little accessibility icon. Just go ahead and left click on that. So now you would click on this little accessibility button down the bottom right. Unfortunately, for some reason I cannot explain, it is not working properly on my Windows 11 computer here. So this would normally be like the ease of access accessibility button, but it just has not worked right for me since I have installed the, the beta version of Windows 11 a couple months ago. It still doesn't work um, on my system, but I am going to go ahead and actually cut back to uh, a Windows 10 password reset. All the steps are the same, basically, and I'll just splice it in on this page, and then we'll let the tutorial wrap up at that point. But again, this is pretty much its exact same process. You'll type in exactly what I'm going to show on the screen. And I'm just going to go ahead and insert that to finish off the video here. Again, it's the same commands, just follow along with exactly what I show on the screen, and you guys should be good to go. And instead of it being a circle icon like the video is going to show on Windows 10, you're going to select this little person icon that's a little accessibility icon down here. When you're on a screen that appears like this, you want to go down to the ease of access icon down here where it looks like a little clock. It should be the middle icon. You want to left click on it. And now this will open up a command line window. And now you want to type in control space user passwords two. And then once you're done doing that, you want to hit enter. Now you want to left click on the username listed here. And then underneath password, you want to left click on reset password. And there you go guys, simple as that. Enter in your new password. And then confirm the new password. Then click on OK. Click on OK again. And then you can close out of this command line window. Type in your new password. And there we go guys, the computer should log us into Windows. So I should note if you are not using a local account and you're using a Microsoft account, instead of doing what we showed in this tutorial, a little bit of a modification, you want to type into the command line window when we're back in the troubleshooting view. You want to type in net user administrator active. So again, net user administrator active. And then this will create an administrator account that is visible to you. And I recommend signing into that account and then you can go in and delete the other email account if you're unable to get in. So it's pretty easy to do that and you would be able to probably change the password of the other account once you sign in with the administrative account. So that's for the Microsoft account method. But I do hope this brief video was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you guys for watching and I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.